Hi, this is a little how-to video for Excel 2007 and this uh, video will show you a little down and dirty trick to, uh, for printing one row per page. So Let's start with um, creating a new sheet that we're going to work off of and you can do that by going down to the tabs at the bottom, right clicking and then insert a uh, new worksheet. Okay. And that ins uh, that sheet got inserted, and then take your your get your data that you're going to work with. Um, and so I've got this data here that I want to work with. I grab this, and for a lot of teachers that might be doing this, you can find the data in your tracking sheet and just paste it here. <coughs> so what you want to do though is you want to optimize the. Um, the page layout and the margins. So you come to page layout and then you go to margins and click on margins and do custom margins. So what you do is remove the header, take that down to zero, take the footer down to zero and take everything else down to oh, I guess 0.5 or as low as it'll allow you to go typically, or typically around a half an inch or 0.5 an inch and if it fusses with you and says the the margins are too narrow accept whatever default or whatever uh, yeah, default value it gives you and here you can see the margin over here this is the end of the page now what we're going to do is um, you know this is data for uh, ID numbers and some names and we're going to be printing these out on one page per sheet so right now they're where are we we're about uh, 12 point uh, font so we want to make this data here a little bit bigger so that when it prints out on the page it'll be pretty big so we'll take it up to about 20 point there so now it's too big but the rows the columns are already uh, selected and um, when you go to adjust one row all three or all selected rows will adjust at the same time simultaneously so we'll adjust the the number value to where we want to where you want it to be make it just as wide make the column just as wide as the number no wider and then we'll take the names and adjust them out and as you know uh, names can be pretty long so um, you probably want to uh, make those as wide as you can and then let's see we'll have to take this one here and make it a little bit wider too and you can see it's bumping right up against the margin so you don't want to go any further than the margin but you can see them the margin will be sitting there and if the margin isn't sitting there because sometimes it doesn't you know you can you can get it set the way you like it to be set and then you can um, go and check print preview and go to print and then preview and you can see whether it's all going to fit on the page so yep it will fit on the page so we'll close that down now here's the tricky thing it's really cool all you have to do is select the um, rows that you want to print and you select them all then you do a right click and then you say row height and you set the row height to 400 boom zero zero four hundred look at that it just makes it ma a massive massively sized row and when you go to check print um, print preview you'll see that the information in uh, a single row is just on one page. So as I scroll down to um, page two, you know, three, four, five, six, and so on, it changes. And uh, <coughs> and then, you know, so suppose you come back over here and you're like, wow, it's too, too, you know, and you want to dink with the data and it's just too cumbersome to work with those rows. Well, then you just come over to the right hand side, select the rows and drag down to you know the 30 some rows that you have or whatever and then you can just reset them so right click again uh, row height and you know maybe take it down and these are in points and we know that our font was at 20 points so we can maybe set the rows at 30 points uh, 30 points and it'll give us uh, plenty of room uh, plenty ahead and uh, room for for the font or the text and then but yet you can manage the rows go back to managing them if you need to manage them so hopefully you, you found this to be helpful